Welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we will learn how to click on a specific link on a web page using Power Automate Desktop. So please watch this video till the end so that you can understand it completely. And if you have not subscribed my YouTube channel yet, please subscribe it. So let's get started. Today we are going to work with this fake name generator website. And on this page, what we want to do is we want to click on a link. So let's say if you if you want to click on fifth link or first link or third link right so how you can do that so today we will use the javascript code so first of all what i will do is i'll go to the inspect element and then i will go to console clear it and then i will type document which will indicate the whole web page and then here I'll use the query selector all and then here I'll specify the tag name which is anchor tag if I want to click on the first link then I have to specify the index as zero if I have to click on third link then I have to specify the index as two so because the indexing is going to start with zero so accordingly we will have to specify the index so that the appropriate link can be highlighted for example if you want to click on eighth link so this is if you specify seven then it will be american right so first of all what i will do is i will take all these you know number of uh, anchor tags I'll store it into a variable and I'll name it as link count right and then I will press enter now if I use this link count variable so it will give me 38 right and what I want to do is I want to click on the link only if the index of you know the current index is 3 right so how we can do that to do that I will use for loop where I will specify the variable as for where i is equal to 0 i is less than link count and then i plus plus so I am using the basically for loop to identify the index count and here I will use the if block where i will specify if i is equal to 3 then what i want to do is i want to click on the link then i want to you know again use the document dot get element by or maybe i can say that query selector all here I have to specify the tag name which is A and for the index I will use this I so, right because in the current iteration uh, the index is going to be stored as 0 in the variable I in the next iteration it will be you know 1 in the third iteration it will be 2 like that the I will be holding the value and then what you want to do is you want to click on that link once you click on that link you want to break the loop now i will press enter and you can see that bot has been able to click on the link like that if I want to click on fourth link or my fifth link because the index is going to start with zero so if I put the condition as i equals to four which means it is going to click on fifth link now if I press enter it will be able to click on the fifth link of the web page
Let's say if you want to change the background color of that element before clicking on it then how you can do that. To do that what I will do is I will use this piece of code. And then here I will specify the attribute as style and then equals to and in this double quotes I will specify the attribute which is background color colon and then the color name which is yellow right so what I will do is I will not click this time I will specify I'll mark it as a comment and then I will press enter here you can see that it is able to highlight this simile generated right so this is how you can use uh, you know a uh, style property of an element to set the background color of it and let's say if you want to you know uh, you want to set the background color of it and after that you want to click on that button then you will enable this piece of code so what it will do is it will first you know change the background color of that element and then it will click on it and then it will break the loop right and then i will press enter you can see that the web page is being loaded so i will take this piece of code from here i'll copy this or before this i'll copy this piece of code now i will go to the power automate desktop and here i'll go to the browser automation i will choose launch new chrome because the web page is already open i will choose the you know i will use attached to running instance and here i'll specify the title of the page I have specified the title and the browser instance will be stored in the browser variable and from here I will use this run javascript function on web page and here inside this curly bracket I will specify the code which I had copied from the console of Google Chrome now i will copy this piece of code and paste it in the power automate desktop and also i will close this uh, console window and this time i have pasted the code which i copied from the web page now i will click on save i will right click on launch new chrome and run from here here you can see that bot is able to identify the you know the web page then it highlighted that element and then it has clicked the on that link and then it has clicked on the link So this is how you can use JavaScript function to click on a specific link or if you want to click on the first link or you want to click on 10th link which is available on the web page based on that you can you can click on the web page. Let's say if you want to click on a link based on the text of the link right then how you can do that to do that you will go to the inspect go to console clear it and here 
you have to you know initialize the variable first which is link count and then my next code was i is equal to 10 here we are checking the index of it if i want to know the text of it then what i will do is i will take this piece of code from here right and here i will specify as document dot query selector all then the tag name i specified and then here i have specified as inner text right so this is going to give me the text of the link right and then what i want to do is i want to compare it with the text which is american so because we are want to return a boolean value we will use the double equals to right so this is going to give me the boolean value which is true or false right and after that what it will do is it will change the background color of that element right so i will do one thing first of all i will initialize the variable which is link count and then i will paste the code which i copied and then i will run it so this time the elements background color has been changed to yellow where the text is american right now what i want to do is i want to click on the link after changing the background color of that element right so i will i will copy this piece of code or i will cut it and then i will initialize the variable every time we have to initialize the variable once you have run it in the console and then paste that piece of code and then press enter now you can see that it has highlighted the you know link and then uh, it has clicked on it right so this is how you can uh, use this uh, code to change the background color based on the name of the link right whatever the inner text of that element will be based on that you will change the background color of it and then you will click on it i'll copy this piece of code i will close the console and here i'll go to the power automate desktop i will and from here i will remove this piece of code and then paste it the one we copied it from the console I will now I will run the bot and here you can see that my bot is able to identify the element based on the name of the text of the link and then it is changing the background background color of it and then it has clicked on it if you like this video please click on the like button and please subscribe my youtube channel and if you have any question please post it in the comment section thank you for watching have a great day